Could you eat nutritiously or at all on $4 a day? That's the daily allotment on food stamps. And I'm gonna try and do that myself on today's BFD. All this week on BFD, we're going to be looking at hunger in America. It's hard to believe that the wealthiest country on this planet still has about 50 million people who don't know where their next meal is coming from. That's roughly 16% of the population in both urban and rural areas. Hunger Week isn't just about not having enough to eat, it goes beyond that. Many Americans can buy food, but they can't necessarily find or afford healthy food. That dollar menu looks pretty tempting, but it doesn't really have the nutrients you need to actually survive. One of the more shocking statistics is that people on SNAP, or food stamps, on average have about $4 a day to spend on food. So that's $4 per person per day. To explore this, I decided that I was gonna try and eat three meals today on $4. All right, so I hit up my local grocery store, and this is what we got. Ramen, which is a nice college staple. Some blended 39 cent on sale yogurt. Value bananas, the 15 cent peaches. Okay, I wanted to get some salad, but they didn't have any 99 cent bags of salad. So instead I just got a head of lettuce with some value ranch dressing. I was hoping the ranch could be multifunctional, maybe. An apple, a raisin bagel from this morning. So I've got my bananas and bagels for breakfast, my pseudo salad for lunch, and the discount bin plus ramen for dinner. Do I really have to do this? All right, so that was breakfast. Pretty, pretty dry bagel. So some of the issues that we're gonna be talking about this week isn't just the lack of food, but the lack of healthy food. We're gonna be talking about food deserts, which means grocery stores like the one that I just went to aren't available for many people, especially fruits and vegetables. That's what they really need. We're also gonna be sitting down with the directors of A Place at the Table, which is a documentary that focuses on the hunger crisis in America. You can find out more about it at takepart.com slash table. Hey, we just gotta remember, 50 million Americans might not have food tomorrow. And that's one in four children. It's called food insecurity and no one should have to deal with it. All right guys, leave us your questions and your comments and we'll get back to you on Friday on our BFD Talkback. Also check the link in the description below to find out more on the hunger issue and how you can help solve this problem. For BFD, I'm a very hungry Marisha Ray. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I got a big glob of branch in that one. Sorry. Oh, that is a bad idea.